Laundry rooms, are you still stuck in the 80s? I guess we'll find out. Laundry rooms. The funny thing about laundry rooms is that growing up, that was the scariest room in the house. Down in the basement, tucked away in an unfinished space, right beside the furnace, cold room, and a freezer that was bigger than a small car. But is that still the case? So much thought goes into a custom home and we're seeing more and more laundry rooms pick up their game. The problem that I have with this is that most homes are still incorporating the washer and dryer as an afterthought into a different room. The mudroom, the kitchen, the basement. They've even gone so far as to put it in a closet. The problem that I have is that I believe that if you're building a custom home, and especially if you have a family, then you really need to have a completely separate laundry room. And I'll go even further to say that if you were designing a two-story home, then the most functional place for that laundry room is upstairs by all the bedrooms, by all the dirty clothes, and by all the linen closets where all the sheets and everything else will be stored. And I'm not saying that you have to blow the budget on it. A separate laundry room is a luxury item in its own right. But to have a gorgeous, clean, and bright laundry room is an absolute must. Especially if you're trying to convince your significant other or kids to get in there and give you a hand. So what are some of the things that we put in our laundry rooms? Well, let's start with the washer and dryer. Front load laundry came all the rage years ago because they were functional and stackable and colorful. They definitely have advantages. They use less water, they can have a folding space on top, but if you put them on pedestals, you say goodbye to that space. Also, if you ever, ever made the mistake of leaving them closed, then you'll know all about the mold buildup at the bottom of the rubber gaskets. So then there's top load. You might prefer top loads if you have a big family because they typically have a larger washer drum. The downside is that you cannot have a shelf on top, for fold, or anything like that. Why am I even going over this? Well, all that matters when we talk about layout, functionality, and requirements. If you don't have much countertops, you might consider front load laundry if you have the space. It allows you to possibly jump to the top loads. Another thing you'll want to consider is having some place to hang hangers. Typically used to dry, these come in handy for so many things, let alone a little extra storage. Next, you'll want to make sure that you plan for a sink. Now, most of us don't use the laundry sink all that much, but you really have to think about what it's for. If you're just using it to rinse out some tough stains, then maybe consider a smaller type, even a bar sink in here. Are your kids usually filthy? Is this the only area that you can spray off the muddy shoes, wash your dog or cat? In that case, get a bigger sink and make sure you have an extendable faucet. Another thing we make sure to have in the laundry room is ample storage. You can never have too much storage in a laundry room. For linen, soaps, cleaning supplies, the list is endless. Another thing that I've seen people skimp on is countertops. Nope, solid surface, quartz throughout. This not only makes sure that they don't burn when you accidentally put the hot iron down, but it also adds so much more luxury to the space. And if you can, make sure you have a window. Natural light is a must for any room that you might be in for a long time doing some work. Want to know more about how we plan our homes? Check out emmettleohomes.com for more luxury custom homes. While you're there, make sure to download all of the free content we give away from designer concept boards to our home building planner to anything else you'll need to plan for your custom home.